I'm in Accounts Payable here. Let's have a look at the effect of the approve flag on an invoice. So I'm going to go into Pending Invoices and I'm going to go and create a new invoice here. And so I'm going to put in the supplier and this is my supplier. So let's say the invoice is number is on VG123 and we're going to match it against for example this purchase order that I just put in. Now I can pick the option to say ordered quantity because we're matching against the purchase order for example in this case we can check the price for example. Now if I switch to the header view you'll see that there's a, f a flag here that says approved so I'm going to leave this unchecked and we'll see the effect of um, this being unchecked. So in this case um, it's uh, finished, we're fine and I don't have workflow turned on so I'm going to hit uh, post. And so in this case the invoice was INVG123. Now if we go across to Open Vendor Invoices and let's do a filter for that vendor, we'll see that we won't find any invoices but if we go and have a look at the vendor and if we, f if we find the vendor and if we have a look at the invoices on the vendor we'll see that there's an invoice actually posted so it's actually hit the uh, vendor um, and it's hit the ledger because it's posted through so what the approve flag gives you the ability to do is um, have the invoice and we can filter for example um, so if I go and change the filter of the open invoice list you'll notice that the default filter is set to approved equals yes so I'm going to change this to be approved equals no and then you'll see that we see the invoice as an open invoice posted but not approved yet. Now if I double click on the invoice you'll see that that approved flag is actually there on the invoice. Now I'm not going to mark it yet so we'll see the effect in a minute. So let's go and do a payment journal. So it's sitting there as an open invoice. If I go and do a payment journal and if we go into the lines and if I go and do a payment proposal I'm going to filter on that particular supplier so X400 was our supplier and we'll say OK and then we'll say OK to generate the payment proposal. You'll see that the the payment proposal will come back as empty because this vendor was a new vendor I've only posted one invoice but that invoice is not approved so the payment proposal won't pick up any of those open invoices that are marked as not approved that flag is not set so let's go and I'll leave my journal open I'm going to go back to the open vendor invoices and let's go and find that invoice again so I'm going to say uh, approved equals no so I can filter and find this. So there's my invoice. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to mark this as now being approved. And I could put some details uh, for example here. So I've changed it to be approved and so if I refresh the list you'll see it goes off the list because I'm filtering on um, approved equals no so I can change my filter to be approved equals yes and find for that supplier so I'll see it there in the list now as an open vent invoice so if I go back to my payment proposal let's go and generate a payment proposal the filter will be there for that supplier so we'll say OK so in this case it's now going to return that invoice because it's now marked as approved. So that could be a handy function if you 
um, want to use the approved option on the vendor invoice um, you can use that to control whether an invoice even though it's sitting there an open invoice it might be unapproved so therefore we're not going to pay it for example um, so that's an option of of using the approved flag for uh, hiding that invoice from the payment proposal